Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm super excited. We're taking a look at a small travel trailer with a big slide out and this less than 19 feet long. This is the 2020 Keystone Passport SL model 199 ml we are going to take a look at the outside features first then the inside features then we're going to give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it we're starting in three two one Again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the World Toy channel that gives you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited. We're taking a look at one of the most popular ultra lightweight travel trailers on the market today, the Keystone Passport SL. Now, before we begin, I want to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everyone. How are you? Doing good. You excited about today? I am. It's Beautiful weather. I just want to let everybody know, all our, our concerned uh, RV review crew, sorry, is concerned about your health, and I just want to let everybody know that Matthew is fine. He was just overworked. He's a workaholic. So. Hey, workaholic. <laughs> I ain't sick. Don't put me in quarantine. <laughs> but thank I you. For I don't your need concerns. no social distancing. <laughs> um, great. So uh, let's let's just begin. Model is 199 ml, but the actual tip to tip length hitch to bumper is 22 feet 9 inches this has a dry weight of uh 48 42. no 42 10 Perfect. sorry <laughs> 4210 pounds dry weight and a hitch weight of 435 pounds now with all these travel trailers again you're going to want to make sure you have hitch equipment and equalizer brands the best brand not a paid endorsement but we do have down in the description below if you need hitch equipment for your travel trailer we have links to amazon it's an affiliate link to help us with our youtube channel but uh up front here you can have two big 30 pound propane tanks and there is place for a battery here again that will also add to your hitch weight right here you have a manual tongue jack that you got to be cranking up and down Coming down here, this is a fiberglass travel trailer. It's aluminum framing with fiberglass sides. I like it, you know, it starts right here. And then right here you have kind of this black uh, diamond. It's not plate. It's kind of like a plastic material, but that's your rock guard. Coming down the side here. Nice passenger Wow, storage. look at that passenger storage. That's awesome. Holy smokes, look at this. We have, oh great. They Electric have, stabilizing That jacks. is a great feature on this. I can't believe it has it on I this. I know. That's crazy. They didn't look at that to, storage. They never used to have it on here. And then check it out. You can see the aluminum framing on this. Yeah, that's a new feature for sure. Coming down the side here, you have a nice power awning with LED lights. I like how it's the whole length of the, uh, of the travel trailer. Not that it's a big travel trailer, of course. Because this is a passport, you do have the extended season camping package, which is a uh, heated and enclosed underbelly. You know, the, the heat goes into the underbelly and it's enclosed. It's kind of self-explanatory what it is. Not true four seasons, but it is nice extended season. Uh, power stabilizing jacks, and I'll check this out. This hat, Andrea asked me a question. This has a cargo carry capacity of- 2812. 2812 and Andreas said that must be an error it doesn't make any sense well the reason why is because even though this travel trailer is so small this has two axles which means you're able to carry more if you look at this passport right here notice how this one only has one axle so you you'd really be pushing it this travel trailer probably has a cargo carry capacity of seven or eight hundred pounds where this one it's giving you it's giving you that high cargo carrying capacity. It's a better towing experience when you have two axles, but yes. you're still staying within that small length of a travel trailer. And also that's how you're gonna be able to get such a big slide out, you'll see. Right here you got a six gallon DSI water heater. Coming around the back. Oh, dang, nab it. No ladder for the back, so I can't show uh -huh. you the roof. Man, I don't, I don't like that. Look at these travel trailers. Look down that row. Yeah, I don't have to None have of them anxiety. Have, yeah, 
Yeah, none of them have ladders. What are we going to do? We might buy a ladder. <laughs> um, coming around the back, you have an outdoor shower right here. Here's your black tank flush. And this is where you hook up your water connections. You do have a spare tire right there. I do like that. I wish there was a bumper on the back as well, which doesn't have that. And then that's a great place for your stinky slinky. Also, if you haven't heard the news, we're selling official Matt's RV Review stickers. <laughs> and uh, you can get them down in the description below. We're selling them. Proceeds go to Andrea. Well, Matt and Andrea, but mostly <laughs> Andrea. We're buying new camera equipment, audio equipment, stabilization equipment, and lighting equipment. So if you're a fan of the show, make sure you get your official Matt's RV Review sticker to stick it on the back of your truck your camper, your motorhome, your fifth wheel, your toy hauler, whatever you have, just stick it on the back. Thanks for your support, guys. Appreciate it. We really do appreciate it. And then right here, it is a 30 amp motorhome. Uh, that's where you hook up your power cord. And then right down there, that's where you dump your black and gray tank. And then look at this, you got a nice cable slide out system here. Look how big it is. I mean, that's a big slide out. And then wrapping up with the uh, outside of the trailer, here's where you hook up your fresh water and city water connection. Well, the outside of this RV looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Andrea, why don't you show everybody what the inside looks like? Let's go take a look. There you go. Hey, start skipping. Oh, oh man, she's skipping, y'all. <laughs> I almost forgot how to skip. All right. As you can see, when you walk in, this has a big slide, dinette on the slide. Yep. We're going to start over here. This is, if you guys have heard of the Murphy bed, this gives you the option of actually having seating to sit down. Yep. And have a bed. Show it. So what you do first, look, there is storage underneath the jackknife bed. And then when it jackknifes down, you got that one side. All right. Very easy to do. Oh, wow. Look at that. Is that one solid mattress? Yes. I like that. Thank Go lay in the bed. Oh, my goodness. You're making you work. You just love to do this to me. Oh. I got plenty of room. Plenty of room. Awesome. I love what's going on with the back there. Yeah, do you like it? You don't like it. Well, I think I like uh, it. personally, I think it needs to be lighter, but that's oh, my opinion. By the way, if you guys haven't seen history, I'm not sure, Andre, if you read the comments. On the last video, the um, open range 328. I know. You everybody, won. yep, everybody like, yep, you're wrong. They like okay, the J Loud. All right. Okay, but, over here we have the wardrobe. Underneath, you have a USB uh -huh. electrical outlet. Yep. You got a window here. Yep. Oh, I'm not messing with that right now, guys. Sorry. On the other side, we have another wardrobe. Also, electrical outlet, USB over here. Yep. Moving to the... Well, put, put the bed back up. Oh. Show them how easy it is. You love to make me work. All right. See how easy this is? You just got to put this lock back in. And then, you put the sofa back, which is... It's not hard. I always just... What's so great about it is it's a 19 foot box travel trailer that gives you a sofa and a huge dinette and you have the sofa during the day the and the bed at night. Now here. Well, no, I, see, I want to make everybody dizzy. No, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Why? Because then they'll buy official stickers. Oh, this is one of my favorite features about this. Uh-huh. I love the U-shaped dinette. Um, I just, I like that, it, you know, you could have a lot of space here. Yep. And it just, you know, opens it up. You do have a TV across from the dinette, so it, it is a little awkward if you were sitting over there. You kind of have to be on this side. But it is across from the sofa. Yes. And this does drop down to make a bed. A big adult size yes. bed. Yes. Underneath, we have storage on both sides. Oh. And then check out the lighting oh. underneath. I love yeah. that. It's like Keystone Blue. Yes, and you know what? This is something they just started doing as well. Yep. So I do like that a lot. I think it's adorable. We've got two windows back there. Any blinds. We have the TV right here. Let's see if it comes out. Yes, it does. Oh, nice. Okay, that's good. So you could actually bring it out a little bit more if you wanted to. You have a little 
little you got cabinets here. You have a Bluetooth stereo here. Mm-hmm. Um, shelves. That's your fuses. And another blue light. And look at that. I I love lighting on the floor. Yep. It it just for me it helps me. Now. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> So uh, I had a customer yesterday come to the dealership and she kept, every time we were uh, in a unit, she kept doing burr, 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 burr. <laughs> She's like, what's the price? Burr, 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 burr. Okay, MSRP on this travel trailer is $29,706 MSRP. Whoa. Sale price is, if you guys see right there on our website, we actually don't have a sale price and um, I actually got in trouble uh, in our Alliance video. Uh, I had to cut out where we set the sale price because our sale prices are so low that we can't even advertise them because they violated map pricing. So um, so here's what I'm going to say the sale price is on this travel trailer. The low, 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 low 20s. If you're interested in this trailer, call me, text me, send me. Oh, oops, that was Andrea's part. <laughs> If you're interested in this trailer, Andrea, what do they do? They can call, they can text, they can email, or they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmo.com. Send me an email and I'll let you know the, uh, the best price. But only do that if you're interested. A lot of people are like, hey, Matt, what's the best price? And I answer it, and then they're all like, T.Y. It's like, they don't even say thank you, they just say T.Y. And you guys can also come visit Matt Nocala. Yes. Address to our store is in the description below. Andrea, let's continue the video. Slowly, dear. Slowly. I got it. I got it. Okay. So here we have across from the dinette, we have the kitchen. We have a <coughs> cabinets up here. Have a window with blinds. Look at the sink. Nice big farmhouse sink. <coughs> you okay? Yeah. It's not I swallowed my spin. I swear. I like these. I'm glad they did that. But it's a good sink. Good size sink. Great size sink, nice recessed sink, you know, with, with a nice countertop. This isn't a laminate, but it's not solid surface. It's kind of its own thing. Underneath we have cabinets and drawers. Oh, look at those drawers. drawers. Cute. Now we have up here a microwave, little microwave. That's little travel trailer. Yeah, that's all you really need. Got a three cooktop burner. Oh yeah. With a glass top. Every day. And you have an oven. Man, look at that. Wow. I love the Furion ovens. Let's see what's under here. Oh, a little bit of storage under there. Yep. The refrigerator, camp size, right? No, just, yeah, travel trailer size. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, that's different. It is. This is something I haven't seen before. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Domatic refrigerator. Two way? Yep. Propane and electric. Okay, I'm not used to that. Remember when you have to push the thing there? Remember that? Oh, yeah. And we have the thermostat here. Yep. Now for the bathroom. Time, time for the toilet dish. All right. Well, no, go to shower first. Yeah. We'll show, show the whole bathroom. We'll do the toilet test this last. This is the bath, bathtub shower. Oh, that's very weird how it's a okay. bathtub. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, it's it's strange. Like, not a lot of height, mm -hmm. you know? I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of the shower curtains. Yep. But oh, it's very little, but overall, it's still doable. Yep. Across, we have the medicine cabinet. And then we have the little sink. Mm hmm Cabinet here. Yep. We have two more cabinets over here. So, oh my goodness. Man, that is deep. Can you oh, man. Oh. Wow. Oh. I did not expect that. That's nice. That's crazy. That's nice. On the past models, I don't remember seeing that. Yep, it's crazy. Now, it's time, time for the toilet test. Time for the toilet test. All right. What a shame. <laughs> shame. Listen, price point travel trailer, I get it. Ultra lightweight, not a lightweight travel trailer, an ultra lightweight travel trailer. But with two axles, Yes, I, I totally this agree. This should be a porcelain toilet. Absolutely. But I understand why. Because most Passport SLs um, don't have a cargo carrying capacity like this. So they, they're they all going to have the plastic toilet. This one's plastic. It shouldn't be. And it's a shame. You know why? Because it's, it, it's, it's a good position. 
you know. Where's the toilet paper? Oh, oh yeah, okay. That would be a great place for a toilet holder spot. And that's just a shame. That's a crying shame. It is. But that's no, it. No but four piece. No four piece. And it failed. But that's it. That's the review. Now, before you leave, it's now time we give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Let's do three things that we like about it. Okay. Um, you go first. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious what I like. Go ahead. I, I like the dinette. Yes. Uh, a fan of it. I've always liked U-shaped dinettes. Great. And it's so big and spacious yes, I just, for I multiple love, people. I love the space. Yep. Okay. Well, that's one. Do you have another one? Um, number two, I absolutely love this cabinet. Oh, yeah. This is something that's new. Yep. I haven't seen this in this model before. Oh, yeah. I think it's great. So it's funny because number three is going to kind of be related to that. So here's what I mean. I love how it's such a small travel trailer, but it's still giving you two axles, okay? So this does a couple things. One, it's going to be better to tow. Two axles are better than one. Not that one axle is bad. It's just two is better than one. Not only that, um, with that storage in there, because it's added an added an axle that's more cargo carrying capacity so you can have big storage it's one thing to have big storage and another thing the ability to fill exactly that big not be able to carry it yeah exactly like you can 100 percent fill this unit up to the brim unless you're a rock collector but yeah i mean just just great units uh and i love the two axles. i can imagine the towing probably on this is probably pretty good yeah, with the double axle and it being 19 feet yep now for the three things we don't like about this trailer. You ready? You go first. Okay. Not a fan. We already set it up. The backlash. Okay, and you're the not. Way the bed was like the color, just the coloring. You're not a fan of the color. I'm not a fan of the color. See, that's funny because again, um, I disagree. I like that look, but Andrea doesn't like that look, and and. I would have to agree. Here's what I'm here's what I'm saying when I say I have to agree. I don't like that look enough to say, well no, I think you're wrong. It's I like it, but she doesn't, so that means I don't like it. But you know what I'm saying. Okay. I think it's okay. I don't I also can I have a second? Yep. So wait, number two? Oh, number Go. two. I don't like the furniture. Uh, I feel like, you know, they could step it up and maybe do vinyl. Okay. Or something on both. Yep. Instead of this material, which is like not, it's not leather, obviously, but it's like, I don't know. Pleather. Pleather. Okay. But I feel like, you know, that material in general just needs to be changed. Perfect. Oh, crap. So, two things. I have a third thing. My third dislike, but look, look at these lights. I didn't even Oh, mention. they dim. Yeah, it's on our dimmer switch. That's well, cool. Well, I didn't mention. You didn't mention. Well, I didn't did. know. You that, did the inside. Oh, the passports change this year. Okay, you ready? Third thing I don't like about this travel trailer is in here. I'm gonna combo this. One, plastic toilet, we already know. But two, this bathtub, I am not a fan of. My opinion, okay, this is just an opinion. This is a couple's coach. This isn't a bunkhouse. Right. So, my opinion, you only need a bathtub if you're in a bunkhouse unit. If you're not in a bunkhouse unit, then a regular shower would do just fine. I don't know why they put the bathtub in it. It's just kind of weird to me. And that, I'm not a fan of. I agree. But that's it. That's the review. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about this passport or any other passports, please feel free to call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or my personal cell, which is 301-906-0962. Um, Andrea, do you have anything you want to say to the good I people? I do. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And please remember, let us know the three things that you like about this. And oh yeah. Three dislikes. For sure. I'm very interested to see that. I read all your comments. Also, if you guys aren't familiar with our motorhome channel, please check it out at Matt's RV Reviews. And yeah, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> make sure you get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing, bing. Also, we will have a special announcement uh, towards the end of the month, in, in about a week. So make sure you hit subscribe and click the bell notification because you won't want to miss the special it's announcement. It's a surprise! It's a surprise!
great. Thanks so much for watching. Andrea. We'll see you next time.